Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Now in the last episode, we struggled to catch a red Gyarados. And as a result of that, we received a red scale. I'll be showing you what to do with that right now. Um, this episode will not be looking at Mahogany City. We'll be doing, we'll be tying up some loose ends. Uh, we need to talk to that guy later. That guy in the black cape, because he'll be very important. First loose end. Let's get some repels on the go here. Now... Okay, Repel's still working. From my training session, look, I've trained all my Pokemon. I've also caught a Hoot Hoot, which will allow me to fly. Now, I've ditched Krabby and replaced... Cr oh, God, I didn't battle this guy. You know what, let me cut this out, and then I'll uh, be back with you in a second. And welcome back. A uh, couple of Magikarps, a couple of uh, Gyarados, nothing too much. Kadabra did evolve as a result though. Now, if you drive up here, which is just um, west of the Lake of Rage, you'll find this little secret area. And in this secret area, you'll find two TMs. Uh, one of them is Detect, which is the same as Protect. If you remember it from the last game, uh, Detect will offer you... Um, well, it will protect you for one move. Uh, you, well, you can actually use it multiple times, however, the second time you use it in succession, it's not guaranteed. First time you use it, 100% guarantee that you'll be protected from any move and any status and all that jazz. Second time, I think it's 50% and it divides like that all the time. Um, detect, I think, is right over here. I can't ride my bicycle straight today. Um, and the other TM, which I'm going to show you, is Hidden Power. And Hidden Power is a very strange move. The type of attack it is and the power of the actual move is very, solely dependent on the Pokemon's base statistics. So it could be a base 63 ice move, it could be a base 40 poison move. It's totally up to the statistics. So. It can be good, but, you know, it takes a lot of breeding in order to get it right. I've gone the wrong way. Hidden Power is in that house. Uh, I'm not going to get it because I can't be bothered. Next thing, we oh, next thing I need to tell you, though, as we fly back to Goldenrod City, is that I've seen Raikou. Uh, I've, se I've sighted Raikou whilst I was training my Pokemon. So now he will become available in our Pokedex. I will just show you. Should be at the bottom. Da, 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 da. Yep, Raikou is available at the bottom, and because we've seen him and ran away from him, we can go to Area, and we can see that he is just south of Ecrotic City, so that will help much later in the game. Hopefully, we'll be running into Suicune and uh, Entei. Now, I'm just going to deposit Ghastly for this part of the game, because uh, Ghastly is an important. You know, you know what, we'll do, we'll do Quillava. We'll, we'll get Quillava back later. Uh, I've, tra I've trained Ghastly, Ghastly to level 24. He evolves at level 25. Uh, I taught him uh, Shadow Ball, and he's learnt Nightshade as well. Uh, which one is it? Is this one? Yep. And if you remember, this is Bill. Hi, Dan. Do us a favour and take this Eevee. It came over when I was adjusting the time capsule, so someone has to take care of it. Okay, well, I'll take care of the Eevee. So this is your free Eevee, you get one in almost every game. You can almost, you, well, you can actually buy an Eevee from the uh, Games Corner, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, Eevee does evolve into two different Pokemon, Espeon and Umbreon. If you make uh, them happy at different times of the day, then they will evolve. Daytime Espeon, nighttime Umbreon. You can make the Pokemon happy by winning battles with it and making sure it does not die. <sighs> <sighs> Right, this is a whirlwind episode by the way, guys, I am under a time limit, I've got to be quick, I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast, but, oh gosh, anyway, next, uh, where are we going next time, we are, we are going back to Azalea now, so, uh, in fact, no, let's quickly go to Cherry Grove City, because I want to show you an I, I want to show you where I got an item um, that Gyarados is now holding. Now, if you remember in Cherry Grove City, the old man showed us this water. If you talk to the man on the bottom left, he will give you mystic water. If you give it to a uh, water type who knows things like surf, then his moves will his water moves will be boosted by 10%. Always good to have that. Uh, next, where do I need to go? I need to go to Azalea City. 
The reason I've got Garadel Sim, by the way, instead of Krabby is because it learns a lot of HMs. It will save a lot of messing when it comes to HM usage. Now, if you go back to Kurt, you remember when we gave him that Apricorn, the white one? Ah, Dan, I just finished your ball. Here. He will give you a fastball for the white Apricorn. And, uh, fastball, fastball. Uh, I think I remember what it is, but I'm not going to say just in case I forgot. A ball for catching fast, catching fast Pokemon. So, Dodrio and all that jazz. And if you give him another... Oh, wait, you can't give him another for the rest of the day. That's great. Uh, right, is this next place I need to go? Is this where the charcoal thing is? This place interested me, because... Let's, well... And went to that's fun. That takes guts. I like that. Come at train with us. Okay. What's that? I'm sorry. I. have uh, Okay. And this guy will give you a charcoal, which uh, you can give to a fire type Pokemon. His fire type moves will be boosted by 10% because of it. So let's slap that on Quilava, shall we? Uh, that would be under your um, normal item. So let's give that to uh, where is he? Quil Quilly. So Ember will now have a boosted attack, which is always good because Ember is weak and we need another fire move. And I still can't learn Fire Punch. I've tried again, but we still can't do it. Right, next place I want to show you is New Bark Town. Just want to say hello to my mother. Now, I've actually been here already, but I just want to show you just in case. You can actually go home and uh, withdraw your money, which she has been saving. So I had about 10 grand left. Uh, I've, still, I've got two grand now, but I, I was able to withdraw two, uh, ten grand before, so that's always helpful if you need more money. Oh, gosh. Right, where to next? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, oh. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Right, nothing at Cherry Grove, because I've been there. That's just a Mystic Water. Violet City, uh, nothing there, I don't think. Azalea, that was Kurt's Pokeball and whatnot. Goldenrod City, that was just um, that, the Eevee. Ecritique, no points. Olivine, no. Cyanwood, no. Right, I think I should be done. So let's go back to the Lake of Rage. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so sorry about all that, guys, but that, yes, let's continue with the story. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumours? You're Dan. I'm Lance. Lance? A trainer like you? I heard some rumours so I came to investigate. I didn't read that right. I don't care, real. I saw the way you battled earlier, Dan. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? <sighs> um, Go on, then. Excellent. It seems that the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Dan. And he teleports like a Star Trekian. <laughs> right, now, I brought Gyarados into my team, and I have no space for Lapras. Um, I will be getting Lapras still. I can only get it on Friday. Today is... Uh, it's just gone Tuesday, so I will be getting it on Friday. I just won't be able to train it just yet because I'll be using Gyarados as a HM slave. Now, um, Lance went in here. Dragonite, Hyper Beam. Ow. What took you, Dan? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. Really? Okay. Well, where is it, Lance? Where is it? You're crazy. Where is it? The stairs are right here. There's no stairs there. What are you on about? Oh. Okay. Dan, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. What are you going to say? Oh, you found the secret stairway. Yes, we... Well, I didn't. Lance did, because he's crazy. Oh, that guy's dragon Pokemon are tough. He, they sure are. Yeah, Lance is going to Dragonite. And he just hyper beamed that guy. Poor guy. Now, I'm not going to do this place yet, because as soon as I walk past that statue, I think it's that statue anyway, a couple of uh, Team Rocket guys are going to run at us and battle us. So, um, yeah, screw that. <laughs> so, let's just go through what I've done recently. Kadabra's now level 33, same old moves, blah, blah, blah. You can actually learn Shadow Ball, which is strange. I tried, I gave uh, Ghastly Shadow Ball. 
which you'll see here, and apparently he can learn, uh, Kadabra can learn it, which is odd. I didn't think he could. Oh well, he knows Nightshade now, which will mean it will take HP damage, well, he'll take damage off the opponent equal to his level. So 24, level 24 equals 24 HP. Uh, Gravel is the same, but older. Uh, Gyarados, he knows Serpent Strength, he'll know Whirlpool and Waterfall soon. Hoot Hoot is my, now my flyer, and Quilly, same old, same old. But I'm going to have to end it there. Sorry for the quick episode, well, the quick paced episode, but join me next time when we'll be checking out this secret Team Rocket base. <sighs> See you later, guys. <sighs>